equivalent fractions. Part 2 Today we will see more examples of equivalent fractions. Vandana, go get 3 upon 3 kilograms of potatoes from the market. Mummy, please tell me in grams, how many grams of potatoes are in 3 upon 3 kilograms? Vandana, you know about fractions, right? 1 kilo has 1000 grams. So now you find out how many grams will be there in 3 upon 3 kilograms and bring that much of potatoes. Okay, mummy, I will find out and get the potatoes. Let us together find out how many grams of potatoes will be there in 3 upon 3 kilograms. 3 upon 3 means 3 out of 3 parts. That is, of a kilogram of potatoes, all 3 parts. Hey, but if after dividing a kilogram of potatoes into 3 equal parts, I keep all the 3 parts, it means that in 3 upon 3 kilograms, there will be 1 kilogram of potatoes. Looks like I need to think once again if I am right. Assuming I buy a kilogram of potatoes and get total of 6 potatoes. Now if I divide these potatoes in 3 parts, then there will be 2 potatoes in each part. Now if I take all 3 of these parts, then it will be 6 potatoes of 6. This means 1 kilo of potatoes will come in 3 upon 3 kilos. Now I will tell mummy. Mummy, I have discovered that 3 upon 3 kilograms of potatoes will be 1 kilogram of potatoes. Well done, Vandana. Now go bring the potatoes too. I'll go, Mummy. But first I need to know something. Tell me, what do you want to know? Just like 3 upon 3 kilo has 1 kilo of potatoes, I think 2 upon 2 will also have 1 kilo of potatoes because by dividing a kilogram into 2 equal parts, both its parts will be written together as 2 upon 2. Yes, Vandana, when there is the same number in the numerator and denominator, then it means we are talking about the whole quantity. Oh, this means that 3 upon 3 and 2 upon 2 are equivalent fractions. Yes, Vandana, 3 upon 3 and 2 upon 2 are equivalent fractions. Now go and get 3 upon 3 kilograms of potatoes from the market. Okay, mummy. Today we learned that 3 upon 3 and 2 upon 2 are equivalent fractions.